at least 270 rhino have been killed in South Africa. What's more disturbing is that this figure is for 2013 alone. Minister for Environmental Affairs Edna Molewa has warned that if current trends persist, South Africa's rhino population could be extinct by 2026. Increased patrols and security measures haven't yielded positive results. Until now. This may look like a toy plane, but it's not. This drone is a way for game parks to be one step ahead of would-be poachers. And the results speak for themselves. The last po rhino that was poached was on the 15th of February. 2013. So you can see we've, I mean, we've surpassed the three months uh, without losing a rhino film follows the park. This drone is the brainchild of Shia Technologies, who originally created them for military training. They can be up in the air for about six hours at the moment and cruise at about 100 kilometers an hour. So we've got about 600 kilometers that can be covered. Footage from onboard cameras is broadcast to control units on the ground, ensuring a fast incident response. The drones also have autopilot capabilities, but should anything go wrong, a ground pilot can retake control. And while the operation requires deep pockets... It costs roughly 1,850 rand an hour to keep a drone in the air because it's not just the machine. It's the whole process that goes behind it. There is no way uh, a machine by itself does anything. This team believes the choice is simple. This is a choice that the government and the other sponsors have to make. Do we want to keep the rhinos or do we want to lose the rhinos? This technology then does seem to work. And it would seem eye in the sky policing could be the solution to rhino poaching. The question now is where the government will invest in ventures like this in parks across the country. Zaid Basir, KwaZulu Natal. News that moves. ENCA.com.